Hi, Jim Romer, the week of June 7th, 2021. This is Weather Wealth, the only all commodity weather newsletter in the world that gives trading strategies, option uh, ideas, as well as hedging uh, recommendations for farmers and traders in all markets. Now, why am I showing this dome in India or the Dome of the Rock, of course, in Jerusalem, or this dome on top of my head? But we're discussing the Corn Belt Dome. The dome that you see here that can sometimes create bull markets in corn and soybeans. Certainly we've seen an explosive reaction in corn and beans uh, late last week and on um, Monday. That high pressure hot dome has to do with the jet stream aloft uh, blocking moisture and bringing drought conditions to the Midwest grain belt. We actually advised our clients last week about taking certain long positions in grains, but you have to be very, very nimble. The corn belt, uh, about 20 to 30% of the world's corn crop grown there from South Dakota all the way across Iowa, Nebraska, into Illinois. What's getting people really excited right now is this red area you see on the top of your screen that helped spring wheat rally about 30%, 20, 30% over the last uh, few weeks. That spring wheat drought expanding into the Western Corn Belt right now, and that's going to create a lot of excitement it has uh, throughout the course of the summer. Other types of domes, well, there's also the Bermuda High that you've all heard about that steers hurricanes. When you see the high in that position, usually you have more hurricanes going toward Florida and the southeast coast, uh, just like uh, we did uh, several years ago uh, with a couple major hurricanes in Florida. Last year, though, that particular ridge was a little bit more expansive, more east to west. You have more of an easterly flow around that high, and all the hurricanes went into the Gulf of, Mer uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico as opposed to across Florida and the uh, eastern United States. So you have this particular Bermuda high, and you have the Corn Belt high, but what happens with the grain and natural gas market with these things? Well, first of all, in 2012, there you can see it to the left of your screen how when that high was over the Midwest, the corn market skyrocketed. But once that high retreated and went to the West in August and actually resulted in uh, rain and cooler temperatures, uh, this is the way it looked. Um, the record heat uh, out West, uh, the ridge moves too far to the West from the Midwestern grain belt. And as a result, look to the right of the, your screen there, both natural gas prices collapsed during the second half of the summer of 2012, as well as also grain prices after seeing a high in uh, July of 2012. Look at that bear market that extended the rest of the summer. And once again, that's because that big dome moved to the west over California and the Rockies. Once again, when you see it over the Midwestern grain belt, and you have uh, drought conditions expand, that's when you get your major bull markets. Will that continue? Will we see corn to maybe $8 this summer and beans to maybe 16 to 17 bucks? Some of our long range weather forecast software that we use in house called Climate Predict is expecting a relatively dry summer over parts of the Midwest grain belt. Uh, but in the short term, that dome could be going back and forth, creating a lot of volatility in the markets. Once again, here at Weather Wealth, I've been doing this for about 35 years. I offer various uh, trading strategies and uh, ways that you can take advantage of the, this volatile dome and uh, options, puts, calls, things like that. This is gonna be a major factor in the weeks and months to come here in the grain market and also natural gas. Have a very nice week, thank you.